perception of, of scientists, you know, is the, the, the crazy old man in the white coat, isn't it? And the perception of the engineer is someone with, you know, greasy hands under a machine. And that's obviously not the reality. I did my undergraduate degree in maths and physics. Um, I liked problem solving at that point. I liked the challenge and I liked this kind of big thinking idea. But when it came to graduating, um, I think I really wanted that outlet. I wanted to tangibly see what I was doing and understand how science can improve things that you can see and feel. Um, and that led me towards engineering. And I loved fluid dynamics when I was at university. So I did an MSc in CFD, um, and then I started at Dyson immediately afterwards. Originally, I wanted to become a pilot. Uh, I was really drawn to planes, and I went to the French air show very early on. And I realized that I had glasses, so I couldn't basically pilot the plane. So instead, I decided I wanted to build a plane. And from this point onwards, I always did science, and I always did engineering and then I discovered fluid dynamics and I discovered that you could do fluid dynamics using computer so that's how I became a CFD engineer. I got interested in electromagnetics uh, in, during my army work and uh, I decided to go to, to be an electromagnetic engineer afterwards. I was learning in the university and there was just a few women and a lot of men in our classes and I think that for make this change in this industry more women should try this it's really interesting and the stuff you can do in electromagnetics you, you don't even realize that's why people should try every, every day is something new <laughs> it's nice at undergraduate level certainly women were in a minority at phd level i think there was one other woman and that was it so it was, it was lovely to come here and be with other women. Um, when I first joined the company, I, I, we were still in a minority as women. Now, definitely not. Now as a woman, I never felt being a minority, even though within the UK, only 9% of the engineers are women. I felt that I had exactly the same skills and exactly the same opportunities as my male colleagues. I do think representation is important and I do think that the more women we see in these kinds of roles and the more exposure they get, the more girls are going to be able to see themselves in that position. So my advice to women who dream a career in engineering would be to go for it as they can overcome any obstacles and they can become successful. Engineering is such a broad subject and at the core of it it's really just problem solving. So. If you are interested in a certain area of maths or physics or engineering, if you pursue that, there will be some useful way that you can apply it and enter a job where you're doing this kind of problem solving on a daily basis. I recommend being an engineer to whoever wants to face the problems of tomorrow and be able to have a real impact on everyday issues. Here at Mondelez we've got men and women, scientists and engineers, all working together very well as a team. Um, so I would encourage all girls and boys to go ahead and pursue science or engineering as a career because it is a very fulfilling and interesting one. <laughs>